I don't know if he knows me, but, you know, it's like we're buddies. <laughs> Sergeant Nevis on the left coming in at 6'1", 250, and he likes baseball. Sergeant Nevis, the one on the right, coming in at 7'3", 550, and he likes to eat. But these two share a bond beyond a name. He looks so much better than he did the first time when we brought him in here. The Yolo County deputy took one look at this animal's bullet-riddled face and never left his side. He went through the ringer for a, for a while. He waited three hours for volunteer rescuer Sue Pemberton to take the sea lion to safety. He didn't react that dramatically, and that's when I knew he was in really bad shape. But nearly two months after being shot, Sergeant Nevis is eating. I like fish, but not as much fish as this kid can eat. And he's kind of moving around. Well, he looks like me on the beach, at, you know, at summertime. <laughs> you do the same. <laughs> I just lay around. Just Yeah, exactly. The sea lion earned his name from the man who stayed with him. It's got to be. He's got my name. <laughs> An honor for the deputy, who had a lot of explaining to do when the story first came out. A lot of the news media said, you know, Sergeant Nevis is still in critical condition. So obviously, you know, my family and friends are going, oh my God, what happened to him? Nothing happened to Deputy Nevis, but the sea lion now needs reconstructive surgery. A fisherman was arrested last month charged with hurting the innocent animal. Sergeant Nevis should not have survived, but he did, and now he's fighting and thriving through persistence, a quality he happens to share with his human counterpart. Sergeant Nevis's fellow sea lions are enjoying their lunch out here in the San Francisco Bay, and while he'll never get to join them here in the wild, he does have a team of people, including Officer Sergeant Nevis, who want to make sure he stays healthy for the rest of his life.